visit with me over on Fritz's Cooking again. I'm Fritz and I reckon it's time for another Sunday cook guys and as you can see right in front of you we have my elite eight quart pressure cooker and we're going to be utilizing that bad boy today. Uh, guys what we're going to prepare for y'all is this USDA choice cab which is certified Angus beef and uh, this is a, a chuck eye roast and guys Man, look at the price on that thing. I can't believe anybody can afford to even eat roasts anymore, guys. I remember going up to the store and getting a nice roast for around six or seven bucks, man. And this was the cheapest one I could find. Every one of the other ones were like $25 and $30, man. It was just out of sight. But don't don't get me started on that, guys. We're going to make a lovely meal with this. And uh, basically, guys, what I wanted to show you is we're going to be infusing it in the pressure cooker with some of this Cabernet Sauvignon. Guys, I done went all French up on y'all. Man, this is going to be Mona Me, Ma Cherie type thing going on here. Uh, went ahead and took, took you to the next level, guys. Got me some French onion camels here. We're going to infuse that in there as well, along with some beefy mushroom. Guys, this ought to be rich and delicious. Guys, I'm going to actually be utilizing a little bit uh, more uh, mushrooms up in there as well because we love them. And I'm going to take that paprika and I'm going to brown my roast off real, real well with that. Guys, I'm going to attempt to make a, a, a reduction wine sauce with, uh, with uh, uh, the drippings we get out of the, uh, uh, off of our roast. And I'm going to add just a little bit more of the Cabernet Sauvignon. All right, mon cherise. Let's get busy. Okay, guys, in my skillet here, I've got some uh, canola oil uh, coming up to temp, and I have like a, basically about like a, a tablespoon or so of uh, bacon fat in there that we had some bacon for breakfast this morning. I just thought that might add just a little bit extra flavor. Guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to brown this thing off, and I'm, I like to utilize paprika when I'm doing it. Um, I don't know about y'all, but when I go to uh, shake this stuff out, it always clumps up, so I'm just going to take the top off of it and use like a little uh, iced teaspoon here and just put it on there, and then we'll... We'll just uh, kind of massage it in a little bit, like so. Get a little bit more. I think it stuff makes it look really pretty too. All right, guys, let's get it in our hot oil here. All right, y'all. Now, guys, I always like to brown my meat. Uh, this will actually seal in the juices and it just gives it that much more flavor guys. All right y'all Let's let it do its thing and we're gonna get right back. All right to guys. It. Let's see if we can flip this bad boy over here Look at that That's what I'm looking for right there guys. Really really nice crust Okay, oh my goodness, that's gorgeous All right okay, guys, we're ready to pull this bad boy and get it on over to our uh, pressure cooker guys. And I went ahead and I quartered an onion. And uh, okay, guys, we've got our chuck eye uh, nice and browned off. We quartered up an onion. I've got everything open over here: the French onion, the beefy mushroom, our mushrooms, and our wine. So basically, guys, we're ready to get started here. So what I'm actually going to do first is I'm going to take the the Cabernet Sauvignon, and I'm going to get myself about a cup, three quarters of a cup, something like that. Okay, there's one cup right there, guys. Let's go ahead and add that in. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm. God, I love the way that smells. All right, guys, we've got our wine incorporated. Let's go ahead and get our beefy mushroom on up in here. All right, guys, time for the French onion. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get our mushrooms on up in here. I drain those off. Give it a little stir. 
Oh, this is going to be wonderful, guys. Man, you ought to smell it right now. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get our onions on up in here. I'm just going to throw them on up in here. All right, guys, now we're going to gently take our browned off roast and we're going to lay it up in here. All right, guys. Just like so. How easy is that, guys? How easy is that? All right, guys, let's get to cooking here. I'm going to take my lid. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to pull it over to airtight. All right, guys, I'm going to go to uh, meat and chicken, but it defaults to 12, so I'm going to run it on up. I'm going to cook this thing for roughly 55 minutes. Okay, guys, once the flash and pee stops, we'll be under pressure, and we're going to be cooking. All right, guys, we're going to get right back okay, to you. Okay, guys, uh, sorry about that. I forgot to add my carrots in, so let's go ahead and get them on up into the mix here. Just get the lid on it lock it, bring it to airtight. Go ahead and let's run it back up to 55. All right guys, got the flash and pee, gonna be under double zero. As soon as double zero stop, we'll be under pressure and we will be cooking. All right guys, we're gonna get right back to you. All right Sorry guys, the flash and double zeros have stopped. We're at 55 and we're on a 55 minute countdown. We're at 54 now. All right, guys, 54 minutes. We're going to be eating good. All right, guys, we're at the one-minute mark. One minute and counting. Once the one minute's up, you'll hear it beep, and it'll go straight to the keep warm function. There it is right there. Okay, guys, we're done. All right, now, you can actually let it vent off itself, but I'm going to go ahead and vent it because we're hungry. All right, y'all. We'll get right back to you in just one second. All right, guys, let's take a peek at our product here. Oh my, my, look at that. Let's get y'all down in there and take a peek. Look at that, guys. Pure ambrosia. All right, guys, let's see if I can get this thing out. Goodness. All right, guys, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to seal it up. And we'll get back to that in just a moment. Guys, what I'm going to do now is I want to make a, uh, a sauce for you. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here and I'm going to get some of these juices. Y'all just smell this, guys. Mm -hmm. We're going to uh, introduce some, some more uh, Cabernet Sauvignon to it. See how much we got. Just a little bit more, I think. Okay guys, I think we got enough. Okay guys, let me okay, make a guys, sauce real quick. Okay got a roast resting right here. I've got it in a Ziploc container and then I wrapped some uh, kitchen towels around it. I also got some yeast rolls that I pulled out earlier and I'm letting them rise right there guys. That ought to be delicious. I love yeast rolls. That's one of my favorite things on the planet. Uh, guys, to make it uh, simple tonight as well, we're going to be utilizing the Bob Evans mashed potatoes, the loaded ones. And they actually have uh, sour cream, bacon chives, and uh, pepper jack cheese in them. Guys, we love these along with the macaroni and cheese. Guys, I went ahead and I made up a little slurry just in case I need it. Uh, here's our uh, drained off veggies here for our uh, our sauce, our wine sauce here. Um, I've got my 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 pot here up to a uh, temperature here. Let me cut it back a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and add in a quarter cup of wine. And we're going to make like a reduction sauce guys. Let me get my ladle. So 
So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to reduce this back. So we're going to let it do its thing for a little bit. Okay, guys. I'll okay, get guys. Right back we to have you. reduced back our uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and our stock that we got from our chuck eye that we just did in the pressure cooker here. And what I'm actually going to do now, guys, I'm going to add just a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. Okay, guys. And I'm going to take and I'm going to add a, a couple of pats of butter. We're going to stir this well. This will richen it up real good. I'm going to uh, introduce some of my slurry. Okay, give it another stir. Oh, yeah, it's getting that real silky smooth look to it. All right, guys, I'm going to let this cook just for a little while longer. And I'm gonna All get right, right, guys, back to I think my sauce is done. And if I do say so myself, I think it looks pretty daggone good. Let's take a peek at it. Look at that. Full of that, that uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Those pan drippings. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me a little taste test. Mm. Divine, divine. All right, guys. All right, guys. Let's let's rolls take a quick in the oven. Rolls here. I've never done them in a little muffin tin like that. They sort of look like puffovers. Man, they're gonna be good with that gravy. All right, our guys. Sauce. Check it out. We have our. Chuck Eye Cabernet Sauvignon over to the table with our gravy that we made up, or I'm sorry, sauce. It's not called a gravy when it's a reduction like that. We made some sauce. And uh, we have the loaded taters from Bob Evans and some yeast rolls, guys. But take a peek at that bad boy. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I have to get plated up. All right, we'll guys, we'll plate it up here. Take a peek at that yumminess. I think I kinda outdid myself on this one, guys. In here after some at roast. Mmm, melt in your mouth, goodness. Some at gravy or sauce. I'm sorry. Mmm, really rich. How is it, Mom? It's delectable. Ooh, delectable. Ha <laughs> I do good with that sauce. I sure do. Ain't that something, guys? Mm -hmm. mm. This may be one of my favorite meals. Mm. I can't quit eating it. Bit of my yeast roll. Mm. Good gravy, guys. This is restaurant good. Ain't it? Thank you. It is, it's just, it, this here is actually pure ambrosia, next level yumminess. I'm gonna have to give this, I get to it, definitely two thumbs up. I can't thank y'all enough for stopping by every Sunday and visiting with me. It truly does mean the world to me. And like I said, it feels like y'all are coming in and sitting down and eating with me and, and all y'all are welcome. And I just wanted to say thank you so very, very much for the friendship and the fellowship. And I reckon we're gonna holler at y'all next Sunday, guys. All right, y'all, bye. Mona me!